Georgiana Douglas Dinan Uijun, Diane Douglas Willow D. Al Uijun, Sanu Ga Hinu D. Kiang, Gaiolis Gustuti Kulagin, Ketchikan Studenijung. My grandmother was Georgiana Douglas and my mother is Diane Douglas Willard. My Haida name is Sanu Ga and I come from Ketchikan, Alaska from the Raven Owl clan. <clears throat> We are the Copper Bird Canoe family from Ketchikan, Alaska, and we have paddled from, our journey started in Cake, Alaska on June 1st, and we arrived here on June 8th. Uh, we braved treacherous seas, rough weather, and beautiful sunny days. We've had a lot of really hard and really happy times. I apologize for our small group. A lot of our canoe family are really under the weather. Um, it, was a really, <laughs> it was a really long week. How? Uh, Paralasis Chusk and Hinudi Kyaang Gailgus Udi Kulagin 
My name is Kasina Shakespeare. My Haida name is Josk Ann. I am Raven Thunderbird of the Haida Nation. The song that we did is our outside song. It is our coming into the house song. The song that we entered in is the tired paddler song from Heidelberg, Alaska. Uh, the next song that we are going to do is also from Heidelberg, Alaska. It's our raven song. This is an invitational. If any ravens out there would like to come and dance with us, please do. How -a. My name is Patricia Allen. My Mohawk name is Ian Hawinen. I am from the Tlingit, Mohawk, Seneca, and Arawak Caribbean nations. My father is Tluk Nakhari, Koho Raven. I am Chukanadi. Glacier Bear Eagle. My family is from Huna, Ani, and um, I, I wanted to really share with you an open invitation for an eagle song. All the eagles out there are welcome to dance to it. We wanted to acknowledge some people who have influenced and encouraged us to continue the traditions of canoeing. My cousin Jana and I actually met each other canoeing um, and we didn't know that we were related until our first canoe journey together in Washington. I currently live in Washington. I just graduated from the University of Washington, but I live in Seattle. Good <laughs> And so there were some people who were very influential on our healing, on our journey on the canoe, and sharing with us many lessons and great teachings on how to be a really good paddler, how to be in a canoe family, how to be in a family. And so one of the people who really encouraged us and has really made an influence that has recently passed on, taken a walk in the woods, his name is Justin Finkbonner. He is from the Lummi Nation. He was a huge part of some of the activism and some of the rights of our sovereignty up here in Alaska. He organized a lot of the Shell No protests to keep the Arctic drilling from going up into coastal Alaska. Down in Seattle, we did a lot of blockades, canoeing blockades, traditional ways of activism and engaging and activating our sovereignty. And so it's really great for us to acknowledge our relationships down south and healing, and healing those relationships as well as creating new ones with Coast Salish people creating new ones of Lummi people, and standing together for our sovereignty and for our ancestors. So we really wanted to share this song, Fly Eagle Fly, to acknowledge Justin Finkbonner, to acknowledge a few of the other people who passed on, and we'll be able to share a little bit more of some of the other people. When we did our grand entrance, we held two paddles 
one paddle for us and one paddle for the people who couldn't make it here. People who would have probably really loved to share these journeys and these experiences with us, but they've moved on. And if it weren't for some of them, we wouldn't be able to stand here today and be able to say that we accomplished this amazing journey of going up to celebration. Another person to acknowledge is Emmett Oliver, Marvin Oliver's father from the Quinault and Coast Salish nations, one of the originators of the Paddle to Seattle and canoe journeys, um, the pan-coastal canoe journeys from Alaska, BC, and Washington and Oregon. He recently passed away as well, as well as Chief Frank Nelson, who was the main leader of our canoe family and welcomed one people Alaskan canoe family into tribal journeys down in Washington and in BC. And so we really wanted to acknowledge them because they really welcomed Alaska natives. They really welcomed us as family and found our relationships and created new family, as well as Chief Rick Nelson was recently adopted before he passed on by John Martin, Carolyn Martin. At, and we wanted to acknowledge his relationship and he's always wanted to go to celebration. And so he's here with us now. But right now we'll be sharing Fly Go Fly. We're gonna sheesh.
Okay, for our final song, we wanted to share, um, we wanted to share and acknowledge Chief Frank Nelson. As we said before, Chief Frank Nelson was adopted up in here, well, down in, in Washington. But the last time we saw Chief Frank Nelson was in, on our way to Bella Bella. Last, about two years ago, we had the honor of paddling to Bella Bella for canoe journeys. We paddled about two and a half weeks, roughed it out, sometimes stayed on the boat, the safety boat and the canoe and on the beach for that whole time, really had a really amazing traditional experience. And we saw, we got the honor of seeing Chief Frank Nelson at Cape Mudge on one of our stops there. And before we left, he gave us permission to sing all of the songs that he's composed. And they're very beautiful songs. And so we really hope that you enjoy that. We really hope that you share that experience and learn some of the teachings of some of those relationships with the Kwakwakiwak communities on Kingcom as well as Alert Bay. Those are some of our strong relations that through canoe journeys we've been able to re-engage and reconnect with those communities and our histories together all along the coast as well as be able to learn from one another as to how to save, preserve, and revitalize our cultures and traditions. This is going to be our farewell paddle out song. Yeah. 